HRDC. Good day everyone. So these are the topics under BTLAD 317 course description, clothing selection, purchase, and care. For lesson 1, we have concept of clothing and career types with the subtopic reasons for studying clothing and textiles. Lesson 2, we have intro to clothing selection with subtopics origin and history, clothing is comfort, functions, scholarships, cultural aspect with um, subtopics, gender differentiation, social status, and religion. For letter F, we have contemporary clothing with subtopics, West Western dress code, spread of Western styles, ethnic and cultural heritage, sports and activities, fashion. For the topic contemporary clothing, we also have the subtopics Western dress code, spread of Western styles, ethnic and cultural heritage, sports and activities, and fashion. For the lesson life cycle, we have the subtopics clothing, maintenance, laundry, iron, and storage. We also have non-iron, mending, recycling, and the global trend. So for lesson three, we have visual elements of the sign and principles. So the subtopics under elements of the design, we have the color, the line, point, shape, texture, space, and form. Lesson four, we have principles of the design. Subtopics are unity and harmony or harmony, balance, emphasis, proper, proportion, and contrast. Clothing design subtopic. This is for lesson 5. Sources of ideas for designing figure types, individual creativity in fashion. Lesson 6. Basic scientific concepts in textile. Subtopics are defined fiber, sources and its classification, principal origin of fiber, types of fabric uses, and care of fabrics. Lesson 7, we have consumer basics in clothing and textiles acquisition. And lesson 8, we have clothing, care, repair, and customizing. And lesson 9, we have care of clothing. And the last one would be Lesson 10, Clothing Care Procedures. So for your references, you can have this uh, electronic references or books. You can review this video for the references. Okay. For the course requirements, so in order for you to pass this course, you have to comply with these five requirements. We have number one, attendance. You'll be given with attendance sheet or attendance form. You have to fill it out every meeting. You have number two, also the active participation, meaning we just don't rely only to the attendance. You have to participate. Um, we will going to have once a week oral recitation every after the discussion of the topic and then that's rate uh, graded number two you also have the midterm or final examination we can also have the prelim and semifinals and then number four projects assignments reporting and oral recitation and also documentation or portfolio so our recitation and active participation they can go together so you have to be present during the google meet um, meeting and you have to participate orally so meaning you need to have a score during the oral recitation and also you need to submit your assignments 
before or on deadlines and also your projects so thank you so much everyone and i hope uh, you have you have take down notes with the following topics and study in advance